Hi guys, my name is Ray Prakash and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Rodha. So in this video, it's we learn a very nice concept and a very interesting thing if you don't know about it, right? How to construct a magic box. Okay, how to construct a magic box. First of all, what do you mean by magic box, guys? So magic box basically means that if there's a n cross n grid, if there's a n cross n grid, n cross n grid means what? Like suppose we have got three rows and three columns here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine squares here. This is called three cross three grid. Okay, then for example, if we have something like this. Okay, here we have got five cross five grid, right? We have got one, two, three, four, five, five columns and five rows. So we have got 25 small squares here. This is called five cross five grid. Okay, so magic box boxes basically for only n cross n grid okay only for n cross n grid right so in any n cross n grid if we have uh in any n cross n grid if we have if we have to fill consecutive consecutive numbers or consecutive positive integers okay i should write consecutive positive integers fill it in such a way that this sum along the this sum along uh, the diagonal sum along the row the column and the diagonal all should be equal okay this is called the magic box right all should be equal okay just for example guys so first of all we'll see here for uh, odd cross odd grid okay i'll see for all the odd cross odd grid odd cross odd means three cross three five cross five because all follow similar pattern then we'll see in the second video we'll see for even cross even grid right for the odd cross odd grid guys okay so like for example we have got three cross three grid or five cross five grid or seven cross seven grid right so what's the rule okay there are, there are few rules actually to fill magic box right rule number one always the first integer start from the top row middle top row middle will be your first integer from those consecutive integers okay i'll tell the meaning right just hold on for 5 10 minutes guys you learn very important thing actually okay this first integer okay top row middle is the first integer i'll start from like for, it's a 3 cross 3 grid i start from here this is a top row middle box fine second point is we always go diagonally up in right side diagonally up in right side okay third rule is if this diagonally up is blocked if the diagonally up is blocked we move one down and again again we go diagonally up okay so if diagonally up is blocked right so actually this arrow should be here actually okay let me just make an arrow here okay so So rule number third is guys, if the if the diagonally up is blocked, if you're moving diagonally up, right? If it is blocked, we move one down, okay, and again we move diagonally up. This is rule number three, okay. Rule number four is basically rule number four is if if we are filling all the digits, right? Sometime while going diagonally up, we can move out of the box, okay. So for example, if I'm here. So some number I am moving diagonally up. So that means I have went out of the box. So if I move out of the box, if I move out of the box, okay. So let me write here like if I move out of the box, okay. Then, then other end is called other end is the starting point. Other end is the starting point or the number to fill that box. Right, the starting point or the number to fill that box right so what i told here let's make up uh this uh, magic box with these numbers right then we'll understand the what actually these rules mean actually fine so this is these are rules right so magic box is made with some rules so again if people will ask in comments okay that if not this if this if we don't this this if we don't do this then what right so actually it doesn't matter actually fine uh it, it is based on certain rules and process and this is actually the rules behind it rule behind it right for example, let's say I'm trying to make a magic box from 1 to 9. Okay. 
always start from what top row middle fill one year one year now go diagonally up i went diagonally up that that should that should be two year right but that two is actually out of the box what i told whenever i move out of the box the other end is a starting point so if two years here its other end is this one for same column this is the other end that means this two i should fill here okay then again i go diagonally up okay then three should come here again i am out of this box so its other end that is this point should be the next that next one i should fill here that is three okay so i should not fill three here i should fill three here inside the box right then after filling three one side again decide to go upside up upside up, right like this huh? so basically what happens now the, it is blocked it what it is blocked so i told you when it is blocked just go one step down like here and then again go diagonally up right so for example if if i have to fill 3 so i cannot fill 3 here right i i cannot fill 4 i cannot fill 4 here because 4 is blocked go one step down fill 4 here right and again go diagonally up now it is 5 okay again go diagonally up now it is 6 now you can't go now you can't go diagonally up right okay you can't go diagonally up now because diagonally up is nothing here it is blocked if you are outside outside the uh, square and there is no box that we can't form box we can form box here we can form box here but we can't form a box we can't form box here that means i cannot go diagonally up so just come one down come down seven okay again diagonally up this is eight so but again we are out of the box right so its other end its other end should be the well should fill eight here and then again once i go diagonally up nine again nine is outside so its other end come down this is nine see so this is magic right now you check guys we check the sum along row square column all are basically same correct no check here if you don't know this you will have a smile on your face actually after doing this right 4 plus 9 plus 2 is how much 15 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 15 8 plus 1 plus 6 is 15 6 plus 7 plus 2 is 15 1 plus 5 plus 9 is 15 Eight plus three plus four is fifteen. Six plus five plus four fifteen. So every row and every diagonal will have same sum, right? Sum along every row, column, and diagonal should be equal. That is called the magic box, right? Is it is it interesting? Ah, huh? there's a cat set on it, right? There's a cat set on it, and actually this happened. Ah, uh, I was in in one offline coaching in cat in twenty eighteen, just one month before cat. I was taking a workshop. And my session got finished ten minutes earlier. Ah, oh, we finished our sheet actually. Then the last ten fifteen minutes, I just for fun, I I taught this magic box actually. And you won't believe it was Arjun Cat. And the people after the cat were just messaging me, sir. One set we did in just two minutes. That magic box came. Thank you. So so basically, we just have to increase, right? We just have to keep on increasing our content knowledge. Study more and more. Develop your mind. Have more knowledge. Have more. Uh, give more versatility to your to your mind actually, and you never know. Okay, you can at least see some setting cat and all, right? For example, in cat nineteen also this happened. I always taught this script arithmetic. I also always taught taught this web diagram and all, and this script arithmetic set was in cat nineteen. Web diagram diagram set set was in cat nineteen, right? So I just I just focus on increasing the content knowledge, right? Now see guys. What I told, I can. It should be consecutive positive integers, right? That means I can also do it for. I can also do it. Let's say I can do it for. Example, fifteen to. I want to. I want to create a magic box for fifteen to nine consecutive integers, right? Fifteen to twenty-three. Okay. Now just fill it, guys. Look. I start here. Fill fifteen, right? Fill fifteen. Okay. Once you fill fifteen here, fine. Or just let me rub it all, right? Again, we should clear one. Fill fifteen. Okay. Now I just try try to create a magic box here. And now I want to I want to create it with what? I want to create with other numbers, right? So let's say I want to create with fifteen to twenty three. Starting number is fifteen three fifteen. It start from top middle, right? So last I I wrote the I wrote the rule now. First rule is what? It start from top middle. So you start from top middle, you move fifty, you fill fifteen here. Okay. Second point is always move diagonally up. I move diagonally up. I went outside the box. Once I move, I should fill sixteen here, but sixteen is outside the box. 
then come back here this is 16 right okay then after that again i move diagonally up this should be 17 but again this 17 is what outside this box so other end should be 17 the other end should be 17 right this should be 17 now okay again to 17 to i, I move diagonally but it is blocked actually it is blocked so what, what i told once this this is blocked okay just move one down and again go diagonally up right so move one down this should be 18 again go diagonally up 19 again go diagonally up 20 and then now this is blocked because this there, there, uh, there doesn't exist a square at the top corner it is not possible right so i can't fill it as move so leave it guys okay so let's say it is i can't fill 20 here so when it is blocked move one down 21 okay then again go diagonally up that is 22 but 22 is outside come this come back this side guys okay i told you whenever we go outside the box its other end is the starting point or the filling point of that number actually so 22 should be here okay once i fill 22 here then again i go diagonally up 23 is here 23 is again outside this box so move to the other end this should be 23 okay now check have we formed a magic box check this sum along every corner and every row have we formed a magic box yes yes we have formed add it guys 18 plus 23 plus 16 how much 57 19 plus 17 plus 21 57 20 plus 15 plus 22 57 add the columns again 57 20 plus 21 plus 16 add the add this again column 15 plus 19 plus 23 again 57 22 plus 20 plus 18 again 57 right everything diagonal 20 plus 19 plus 18 57 22 plus 19 plus 16 57 everything is 57 right that's the magic box okay Mazara. let's form one more okay let's form one for Again, rule is for 39 consecutive integers, right? So, this way, they go, they know, get the chest, LID set, right? What I can put here, I can give you a magic box here, and I can give you some numbers, right? For example, in this set, I will give you a number 16. Hai. And you want to make a magic box starting from 15 to 23. Correct? Huh? And now I'll give you, like, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, E, F, G, H. Huh? And let's say I give one more number. Okay, for example, I give you one more number. Let's say I give you 22 here. They won't know. It's a LRD asset, right? Huh. Now, the statement is given is sum along row and sum along every column should be same. Okay. Huh. And numbers to be used is 15 to 23. What is the value of B? First question. What is the value of C? Second question. C plus D, third question, right? So this can be LRD asset, right? So it's such an interesting concept guys, okay. Shallow. So let's fill it, right? Okay. So now let's let's fill one more magic box, then then in the uh, then we'll move to 5 cross 5 1. Okay. This 3 cross 3 grid, right? What are you doing? I told you I'm doing from I'm doing for odd cross odd grid. I'll move to even cross even also. Okay. But let's complete okay. So let's fill a magic box for now. 36 to 44, right? I can do it. There are nine consecutive integers. I can do it, right? Okay. Now do it guys. Do it with me. I start off with 36. Move upside. Okay. This becomes 37. It is outside. So move down. 37. Do it fast. Right. Then move diagonally up. 38. Outside. So come here. This is 38. Move diagonally up. Blocked. So move one down. 39. Then move upward. The diagonal up. 40. Move diagonal up. 41. Diagonal up. Blocked. Move down. Guys. Now 41. Then move down. 42. Then again diagonal up is 43 outside so come back here 43 now diagonal up becomes what this is 44 it's outside to fulfill 44 here now you can check here now you can check here guys everything is now add all the values everything is 120 43 plus 36 plus 41 is 120 this is also 120 this is also 120 right all the columns you see all the column 43 plus 38 plus 39 120 36 plus 40 plus 44 120 all diagonals, right? 41 plus 40 plus 39, 120. Everything is 120 here, right? That basically you can also sense it actually because once we had to add 36 to 44, no? 36 to 44 we had to add, right? These values I needed to add actually. Okay, so you get sense initially also before solving it that this sum is how much? There are nine numbers here. These are AP. So every pair will give me 80, right? Like 36 plus 44 is 80. 
This also gives me 80. So every pair is 80. How many pairs I can form? There are nine numbers. I can form four and a half pairs actually. Huh. So 80 into 4.5 is what? This is 360. Sum is 360. And this sum along row has to be equal, right? So all have to be x, x and x. So I should like 3x is, I should do like 3x is 360. So x is equal to 120. That means all should be 120, right? So we can sense it before also, before solving this that, okay, sum along every row is 120 or every column is 120, right? Okay guys, so I thought, I hope you enjoyed this session. Okay, now in the next one, we'll do this 5 cross 5 and 7 cross 7 square grid, okay? Just remember this, in the next one, we'll do 5 cross 5 and 7 cross 7 square grid, okay? Thank you for watching.